they're going to be facing the tandem of the Prince of Darkness, Kevin Sullivan and the Purple Haze, Mark Lewin. Join me here at Mike's side. Look at here on the camera. Sullivan having a conversation with Terry Daniels. Join me here now, Ronnie Sexton. Ronnie, welcome aboard. Thank you, Liz. It's my pleasure to be out here with you at the desk. And uh, this tag team combination coming up, it's going to be very interesting with uh, Purple Haze and Kevin Sullivan, and the valet of uh, Fallen Angel, against a very young team I see here today. Well, I would tell you what, uh, you know, I'm no big fan of Sullivan and Lewin. I've known them both. I've watched both their careers beginning to current. But uh, whatever you say, you've got to say these guys are productive. They come out, and they come out big. They come out winners. That's for sure. And I'll tell you what, you know, it's just like you say. You may not like their tactics. You may not like their ways. But they are very rough wrestlers, very aggressive. And they give you not an inch of opening. Well, let's go to the ring for the introductions. out against uh, Tom Brandy, Chris uh, Galahad, and uh, Ronnie, uh, tag team competition is tough in the ICW, and these guys are making things happen. Once again, they're, uh, they're creating a, a spot for top tag team talent, and of course, Sullivan has made no bones about it from the very get-go. He wants Idol and Savoli. I tell you what, that is true, Les. Uh, I've heard about the confrontation that he wants with uh, Otto and Savoti. And uh, I think in a way that uh, Sullivan and Hayes may be by not more than two. Well, you never know. These guys have got a long track record as a tag team. But Idol and Savoli have gelled so quickly. They've come together so well in such a short time. They're cert it's certainly going to be one heck of a wrestling match. Yes, that's true. And I say wrestling match, it may not even be that. That's what's on the marquee, but it may just be a good old-fashioned back alley brawl. Yes, yes. The Purple Haze there, his size, he, he's like a towering oak tree out there in that ring. You know, I've known this man, uh, I was still competing uh, when I met Mark Lewin, and from being uh, just the average mid-American boy, right, from, uh, you know, the normal all-American boy, you might say, he has gone 360 degrees and has completely taken, uh, embraced the Asian way, as the way Sullivan says it, but you know, I give details about it later, but you know, he has married an Asian lady who was a movie star at one time. That, that is something I didn't know about, uh, Mark Lewin. And of course he has, you know, he's taken uh, a lot of the Asian habits and uh, as, a, as a, a Westerner, you know, uh, his uh, style of living and so forth uh, and his beliefs uh, don't seem to even fit anymore in the United States. No, they surely don't. Uh, I've noticed uh, in the past uh, a lot of articles I've read about him where he does a tremendous amount of meditating before matches, before going to the gym, and uh, that is something here in the States we're not used to in one bit whatsoever. Well, of course, you know, uh, here's a guy, too, that... Uh, <laughs> look at him. Look at the expression <laughs> on the face. Yes. I, I see these close-ups, and sometimes I wonder, you know, is there 52 cards in that deck? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I know what you mean. Of course, he and Sullivan like two peas in a pot. I, Kevin, I have known since his... Uh, initial professional appearance and here's another guy who's gone 360 degrees and he's throwing a rule book out the window and his regard for humanity as far as that concern has been put by the wayside yes uh, Kevin I remember him from my earlier days of uh, professional wrestling and uh, he was he's always pile driver, pile driver. No mercy. There you have it. No mercy. I'll tell you what, Les, they're coming down here, and I'm getting out of here right now. All right, Ronnie, and uh, please join us again. 
And coming to our desk now is the Prince of Darius, Kevin Sullivan, and another big win for the team of the Hayes and Kevin Sullivan. Well, let me make one thing perfectly clear. There's going to be some sacrifices made. Obviously, I'm talking about two maggots. I'm talking about Joseph Oli, and I'm talking about Austin Idol. Because when the fallen angel was given to me by Habuda Dean himself, I went through the 13 steps of purging myself to make me strong. I no lust to no flesh any longer. Because I know I have transcended the mountaintop. I met a wise man there. And the wise man turned out to be the purple haze himself. Given to me by Mother C. In the hour of darkness when I needed him most. When I sent Black Jack Mulligan to the hospital forever. You see, you cannot ban me anymore. You can't suspend me. Because I am coming home. I know. Savoli, your head belongs to me in the haze. Act by himself as the king. And uh, there you have it. The Purple Haze, the Prince of Darkness, and the Fallen Angel. We're going to be back with ICW In-Depth. I'm going to talk to Joe Savoli and Austin Idol right after this.